Hey YouTube, it's Pluvio, and today an update came to PlayStation 4, and Remote Play came to Mac and Windows. So I thought I'd do a, a small video to show you how it works on a MacBook Pro from 2015. Before I start, I thought I'd talk some about my setup. I have a MacBook Pro 13 inch from 2015. It has 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. Uh, I have a Apple Time Capsule from 2013, the latest one, and that one also has 802.11 AC, and then the PlayStation 4, which does not have that AC Wi-Fi. So for my first test, both my MacBook and the PlayStation is connected to the Wi-Fi, and I put the resolution on high and the frame rate on high. This was acceptable, even though it did stutter quite often, and uh, playing a sports game like this is probably not good enough for me. So, as you can see on the screen, it does stutter from time to time. So the next thing I did was set everything to low. Well, you have two settings. I set the frame rate to standard and the resolution to low. And uh, this was even worse than the first one, but not because of the stutter, but because of the frame rate. It just, it felt so low, like I wouldn't play a sports game like this and the picture on 360 resolution is definitely not good especially not on a retina screen it might be hard to see it on the camera but it just didn't look good and that frame rate was terrible so I put the frame rate to high and kept the resolution on low and uh, this time it did stutter, just like when I was playing with high resolution. So, if you were gonna choose between playing with low resolution or high resolution and high frame rate, I would definitely just play with high resolution and high frame rate, because it wasn't enough of a difference for it to be worth the quality difference. But then I plugged in the Ethernet cable to the PlayStation 4, but the MacBook was still going on the on the Wi-Fi and this is when it started to shine because now it like it actually worked good it felt almost like I was playing it on the computer itself so if you're gonna be doing this you should definitely put in an Ethernet cable in your PlayStation 4 the Wi-Fi can be good enough on a laptop or on your PC but the PlayStation 4 should definitely get a cable especially since uh, the Wi-Fi chip in uh, the PlayStation is known to be pretty bad, and it doesn't support AC Wi-Fi, so that's also a negative thing. It did stutter from time to time, but it only happened like for half a second every minute or so, so it didn't really bug me that much when playing NHL. The last thing I did was to put the resolution on low, the frame rate on high, and the cable is still connected to the PS4, but not the MacBook. And this didn't really help the stutter every minute, it just made it look worse. So if you're gonna be playing like this on a MacBook, you should definitely get an Ethernet cable uh, for your PlayStation. I don't have an adapter so I can't connect an, a cable to my MacBook, but it worked just fine on the Wi-Fi. So yeah, that's it. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you later.